Hey guys, uh, first and foremost, whoa, they uh, reprinted Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor, if you don't know, is if it's not even the best of the tutors. I, I believe it was only printed in Starter 1999, so the card was incredibly expensive. I think I'm looking at about $160,000 heavily played so essentially a 200 250 dollar card because again any tutor is good and people are going to play tutors in their deck now the other reprints that stand out to me blaine bane slayer angel azusa now i'm pointing at her because she's only a rare she's being reprinted as a rare um, and you know, I always think that whenever you look at the expected value, you cannot look at the mythics. The mythics are really hit or miss. So Azusa Lost but Seeking is a probably one of the best rares right now. She's going for about $20 pre-order. I do expect her to go down to 5 or even $10 a regular edition, especially given that there will be special editions of these cards, of all these cards that we're going to look at. So this card should tank from $30, $40 all the way down to $5. Um, here you have interesting EDH cards. You have a legendary cat dog. and It's pretty interesting. Uh, I think this is the type of card that you do make special. Uh, that EDH is where you want uh, the cards to be good. Um, you want them to be playable forever. Which gets me to the next topic, which is the land. The land is going to look a little different. Now, I am I actually like this land. I know this will be a little controversial because it's kind of like a new, like a free D. It's almost like MTG Arena land. I think they made this land specifically for MTG Arena. But, I mean, it's a, it's got pretty interesting borders. Like, it reminds me of the old borders, and then the land, the picture itself is actually of a land. So it's kind of like a hybrid between the Pokemon land and then the regular land, so I'm glad that we get our regular land back, because those are some of the most beautiful cards in Magic, in my opinion. And yeah, of course, uh, Grim Tutor, and Azusa, Ugin, um, they are all going to have special editions. And those special editions will be full art, they'll be foil, they'll be box toppers. Grim Tutor, wow. Uh, that came out of nowhere. Because that's a $200, $300 card. And when you make it into the special foil, what does that look like? You know, how expensive would that be? I don't know. And then Containment Priest, another really good rare. Containment Priest was reprinted recently. Uh, so it used to be part of a commander deck and now she will be relatively cheaper compared to and i like it it's a rare i mean you are going to have new cards um, the new cards are in my opinion kind of meh i mean they're they do what they do they're not i mean they're for new players uh, they're definitely for new players but like grim tutor is just wow liliana walk of the dead two and a black uh two and two black Plus one, each player discards a card. Tar each opponent who can't lose his free life. Minus three is target creature gets minus X, minus X until in a turn where X is a number of cards in your graveyard. And then minus seven, you get an emblem with at the beginning of combat on your turn, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. So pa basically a Liliana. Ugin is getting reprinted. Ugin is very expensive as a mythic. So you are you have some really good reprints. I mean, Grim Tutor, Ugin at Mythic, Bane Slayer, Angel. I know people don't think Bane Slayer is very good, but it depends on the meta. So Bane Slayer has never been very good, but she has been dominant. If you know, it's the creature. If it's a creature meta, she's one of the best creatures out there, and she does have the Life Link, which is really really good. Uh, if she hits you once and your red deck wins there's very little things you can do to recover five life is a lot every turn so i'm seeing some ed8s i'm seeing some valuable reprints i'm seeing some valuable reprints which i like in rare i don't like gambling on cards and saying oh is this going to be a good card is this going to be a bad card no i would rather have like an ugin 
I know Ugin's a good card. I know uh, Grim Tutor. Grim, the reason Grim Tutor is or is not in everyone's EDH deck is due to the scarcity in the price, and now people can get him. Uh, the same with a lot. Same with Ugin, and Ugin is like he's really great, uh, and now his price is going to collapse, which is good. Primal Might X and a green. I mean, yeah, you do have some of this um, other stuff, if you will. Teffy, Master of Time. Now, this is interesting. Two and a blue. Essentially, you can use him on your turn. You can use him on your opponent's turn. In EDH, this is going to be a beast. Because you can just go off. So, okay, it's your turn. You're plus one. Good. Pass. Now it's your opponent's turn. Plus one. Pass. If you're playing EDH with uh, a few people, let's say three people, uh, every turn between the players, you're going to get plus four. And he'll, he'll be able to go off really fast. Grim Tutor, one and two black. Probably the best card in the set. I mean, I would be shocked if they somehow reprinted a card more valuable in the set. And this is what has to happen. Um, this is how you do it. Once you put a card in core set or in a standard set, it's just never going to survive. Uh, this card will never be a $300 card again. Out The regular version, I mean. Grodok, the Crown Scourge. Uh, Legendary Dragon. I mean, these type of cards we might laugh at. We might think it's kind of funny. But this is the type of card that I, if you were a little kid, and you opened it. And it was a Legendary Dragon. It's only at rare, so you do have a higher chance to open it. It does have some cool effects. And this is the type of card that core set should all be about. And I see that they're using... Course that is a reprint vehicle, which is definitely a plus. But like a new player is not going to understand Grim Tutor. A new player is going to want this one. So I don't know. Uh, a new player will understand Bane Slayer Angel and Liliana and Jace and those cards. But there's no way a new player makes sense of uh, Azusa or Ugin. I mean, maybe Ugin because he's a planeswalker. But for that fact. Uh, they still have to make a bunch of junky cards like this. That's how they sell it. Legendary Artifact. A lot of really interesting. Uh, produce five colorless. <laughs> oh, man. Obviously, obviously, that's going to be a very interesting combo piece. Plus the fact that you can it produces mana of any color. Yeah, any combo deck is going to want it. You go infinite in mana, then you can do... I mean, it's just silly what things you can do. Anyway, bye guys.